Hey everyone, Kevin Oste from VATV with our Friday promo for McCacken Week. That's right, it's the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals Week, and we are super excited because the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals show opens tomorrow, Saturday, November 17th. We hope you can come out and see the show in person, but if you can't, don't forget we are hosting the McCacken After Hours live streaming broadcast starting at 8 p.m. on Saturday, November 17th. We've got a lot of interviews and feature cars lined up. The whole thing is presented by the Meekum Auction Company, and you can join by watching on Facebook or YouTube. All the information for the streaming partners and channel information can be found in the uh, description below this video, either on YouTube or on Facebook. So we're really excited about having you join us for that. We've got some great guests lined up. And all week, we've been kind of priming the pump for this event and looking back at the 10 years of the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. And today we're looking back at uh, another cool video that was shot a couple years ago. This one is uh, an invitational display of a bunch of very special Chevelles and Chevrolet big block powered cars that have an interesting feature, an aluminum set of cylinder heads. Check out our look back video and we will hope to see you at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals or watching Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals After Hours Live. See you then. Mecum Auctions, the world's largest collector car auction company heads to the Las Vegas Convention Center November 15th to the 17th. Oh. A thousand muscle cars, classics, Corvettes, hot rods, resto mods, and more will cross the auction block. Register to bid and buy tickets now and save at Mecum.com. Book your room at the Westgate and join us for the Dodge Thrill Ride. Mecum Las Vegas, November 15th to the 17th. The experience begins at Mecum.com. Much of the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals is arranged by different theme displays. And right now I'm standing in a circle of very special Chevys. These are all L89 cars. And Dan, explain to us what the L89 option is. L89 option is an option that uh, was available from Chevrolet. It was an option that many people didn't know about uh, until they were really sitting down one-on-one -on -one with the salesperson. Uh, and there was a little box in the corner that you could mark off for an aluminum head option. And that's what the L89 option is. Um, but it was very popular with the drag racers simply because once the drag racers were told that this is the same horsepower car, we know it was a little bit more, but same horsepower car, but being a lighter car, that struck a chord with these drag racers, and that said something to them like, wow, you know, we can have something special here, be a little lighter, and go as quick, if, if not quicker. Now, I see a variety of different cars. What could you get these in? You can get these in a Camaro, you can get these in a Chevelle, you can get these in a Corvette. Very cool. And I'm guessing, because like you're saying, it wasn't a very publicized option, that perhaps limited production. Very much so. Very much so. So the cars you see here on this display, uh, they're very special, they're very unique, very sought out, sought after cars because of the low production. I'm also seeing a couple different years. Uh, it would range from 67 to 69. You can get the L89 package uh, in an intermediate or a Corvette. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how you end up knowing so much about these L89 cars. I know these cars just because um, I happen to own the registry for the 69 Chevelle model. Um, it's my favorite car. Uh, growing up, I was just, um, you know, very um, enthused about them. So uh, the 300 Deluxe option is the baseline Chevelle in 1969. What made it so special in 1969 is you can get the 396 SS package in a baseline 300 Deluxe. And that's like this orange car we're seeing here. Absolutely. What makes this one even more special is it has the L89 feature on top of the SS 396. Uh, so it's a very, very special car in Monaco Orange. Um, just a fascinating car. I've known this car for many, many, many years. So when we start to kind of dissect what you're saying here, I would think that people that were springing for an SS 396 were going for power and style. So I'm envisioning a bunch of convertibles and a lot of hardtops, pillarless hardtops. So it seems unusual to add the SS 396 package on the base car. I mean, I wonder what the mindset was to order something like that. Well, it was uh, cheaper. So, the, and again, the drag race related 
feature again because the drag racers, once they started doing some homework on these cars, they knew they were lighter, they knew they were more rigid because, because of the, the frame, the post, so they knew when they were going to go down that drag strip, they weren't going to get that twist as much, the car was going to perform a little bit better. And because these cars were plain James, you didn't have all the stuff that is on a coupe. You didn't have the bigger wiper motor. You didn't have the carpeting. You didn't have the seats that may have, some may have even had insulation that wasn't quite up to you know GM standards because they were the plain Jane models again. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Now, this car is an insanely low, low number production in post SSL 89. We, we don't know exactly what the number is, but seven is the number that has stood the time, and there's only seven of these that we assume were built. And how many L89 cars in total, is that known? Uh, again, these are guesstimated numbers, 1,400 SS300 Deluxe post sedans were built. Out of that, you've got uh, 144 of them were the L78. And that Two, was just a 396. 396 with the 375. Ironhead. Ironhead, Ironhead. Ironhead. the 375. Uh, 249 were the next 396, which would have been the L34 350 horse. Okay. 950 were the L35 three and a quarter horse. Okay. And if you gather all those numbers up, you come up with 1400. 1400. Yeah. And seven of these. And seven of in this model. <laughs> and in my registry today, there's 56 that are alive and that I put my stamp of approval on that I know they're the real, real deal. And, um, you know, so if anybody's out there has one of these cars, contact me. You can reach me at abodymuscle.com. Uh, I want to, you know, protect these cars. They're special cars. They're unique cars. Uh, and that's what I do. So tell me about all these cars being here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. I mean, the show never fails to amaze me. Yeah, I mean, it gets better and better and better and better every year. I'm, uh, I'm lucky to be a part of it. If you can make one car show, one single one, that's all you can do, save your money and come to the McCacken Show. Awesome. Well, Dan, thanks for sharing the info. We thanks, appreciate Kevin. it. No problem. VATV's coverage of the 2014 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals is brought to you in part by Reliable Carriers, taking vehicles seriously for over 50 years. Learn more at ReliableCarriers.com.